Hi, I am Joe Sam and I am from Technology Research Lab. In our previous video, Git and GitHub a beginner's guide, we have gone through version control, version control system tool, Git, Git installation, local repositories and remote repositories. Now in this video, we will discuss more about basic Git command and operations and how to sync local and remote repositories. Let's use GitHub as a remote repository. Here I have created a new remote repository on GitHub named TRL. It has got one commit, one branch and I am the sole contributor. The one branch which is the master branch and it has got one file readme.md file. Now let's create our local repository. You need your git installed before you create your local repository. Let me right click on and click git bash here. It will open up a terminal, a colorful terminal which is known as git bash emulator. Let's increase the font so that we can have a better visibility. Now type in the command git init. It will initialize empty git repository file. As you can see there is dot git folder has been generated. Now as we have initialized let's link our local repository with our remote repository. For that we will use the command git remote add origin and within inverted comma we will provide the link let's get to github and under clone or download we will copy this link get back to the terminal and paste it on it Execute the command. As you can see, we have successfully linked our local repo with our remote repo. Now, we need to pull files from our remote repository. As you can see, there is only one file, readme.md file. Let's use the command git pull origin master execute the command it should pull the only file which is readme.md file now the fetching is over as you can see, our readme.md file has been successfully pulled. Now, let's make some changes in our local repo. Let's create some files in it. Open a txt file. Let's name it trl1. Now, we will enter some text in it. Let's write trl first file. Let's save it and close it. Let's open a new file, a txt file. Let's name it trl2. Open it. Let's add some message to it. trl2 second file. save and close. Let's open a one more file. Let's name it trl3. Let's 
open the file and we'll write trl third file let's save it and close it now you have to keep in mind that whenever we create a new file or make any changes to our existing file in our local repository you must first have to index it and then commit the changes to make it valid this is called staging as we have made three new text files let use the command git status to get where we stand now Now we can see three untracked files, trl1, trl2 and trl3. Now to make these changes valid, first we need to index this file and then we have to commit it. So let's clear the screen now. And here I will index it using the command git add within inverted commas. I will give the file name trl1.txt. Now the trl1.txt has been added to the index. Let's check it now. Git status. As you can see trl1 has been added to the index and changes to be committed. Now we can commit the changes using the command git commit hyphen m. This is a message flag within inverted comma we will provide the message trl1.txt original file added let's clear the terminal now again we will use the command git status Now trl1 is added and committed. There are two more files trl2 and trl3. Let's see how we can add multiple files. Use the command git add capital A. Capital A will add multiple files to the index. Now let's commit multiple files now. Using the command git commit hyphen small a small letter a hyphen m that's a message flag we'll add message trl2 and trl3 original file added now we have committed both the indexed file now let's see how we can revert back to a previous version or a previous commit For that we will make some changes to our original file. Let me open trl1.txt. And make some changes on it. Let me make change now. Modified. On so and so date. Let me save this and close the file. Now as we have made changes to our trl1.txt, we need to commit the changes. Let's clear the terminal. Skip status again. As you can see trl1.txt has been modified. Let's commit that changes now using the command git commit hyphen small a hyphen m message flag will give the message modified on so and so date now 
now our commit has been staged let's get status again as you can see nothing to commit working train is clean now let's clear the terminal now to revert back to a previous commit we need to know the commit history you can access commit history using the command git log git log provides you all the commit with a unique commit tag along with your commit message now let's execute the command git log as you can see this all all these are commit logs this all all these commits we have made this is the initial commit we made trl1.txt the original file and this is the modified one the modified commit we made now we will revert back to the original one so that we will what we do we will copy this first six digits from this commit tag we'll copy it let me clear the terminal now we will cat our trl1.txt so that we will see what the content is see this is the content so this is the modified one now what we going to do we will revert back to our original trl1.txt for that we will use the command git checkout and paste what we have already copied which is the first six characters of commit along with the file name which is trl1.txt now we have made a change in the trl1.txt so in order to make that valid we need to commit the change so let's make the change valid using the command git commit hyphen a small a hyphen m message flag inverted commas I will give the message reverted back to original trl1.txt. Now let's cat trl1.txt again and let's see it has been reverted to the original or not. as you can see the content is trl first file which is our original trl1.txt so we have successfully reverted back to the trl1.txt finally let's see how we can push our local repository to our remote repository which is our github a public github repository can be accessible to everyone but only an authorized contributor of yours can modify the remote repository for that one has to create a ssh key in your local repository and validate the key with your remote repository let's see how it can be done in order to generate ssh key we will use the command ssh hyphen keygen this will generate our own ssh key now let's see our unique ssh key using the cat command let's and let's copy this file path this is where our public key has been saved so let's copy this and we will paste it in our terminal and execute the command 
now this is our SSH key let's copy this and let's get to the github inside github let's go to the settings click on ssh and gpg keys and click on new ssh key we will give a title to it let me write trl and let me copy the sorry paste the key add ssh key now we have added our ssh key now we need to authenticate as you can see the color is not green we need to authenticate our key so what we are gonna do we will get to get bash terminal and we will write in the command ssh hyphen capital T will provide the URL git at github.com now as you can see I have successfully authenticated to make sure let's go to github let's refresh this page now as you can see TRL it has been successfully authenticated now we are all set to push our local repository to our remote repository using the command git push origin master now as you can see our local repository has been pushed we'll get to github we'll get to the branch master click on it it will refresh again and you can see all our files are in our remote repo now i got five commit i'm the sole contributor now we have successfully pushed our local repository to our remote repository just a quick note i have used ssh way to modify the remote repo so in order to avoid access denied error you have to make sure you edit your config file in your git folder this is our git folder dot git folder and inside we will have config file And in here we will change HTTPS to SSH git at the rate github.com. Let's save this. That's all.